Question 17. 8,284 divided by 10. Now remember, when you're dividing by 10, all the digits move one place to the right. If it was divided by 100, it would be two places to the right. Divided by 1,000 would be three places to the right. But because it's 10, it's, there's just a single zero there. It's one place to the right. So what's really useful to you here is your decimal point. The decimal point is your friend because the decimal point doesn't move. It's only the digits that move. So if you put your decimal point in, and then the land on, line underneath, put the decimal point in so that it doesn't move, so it stays where it is, and then just move every digit one place to the right. So this eight is going to move one place to the right into this column. So you just write it into this column, but on the line underneath. And then as long as that, as long as you're happy that that eight has moved one place to the right, all if that eight's in the right place, all the other digits just would follow on after it. So if it goes eight two eight four in the question, it's going to go eight two eight four in the answer and then as you can see the twos move one place to the right the eights move one place to the right the fours move one place to the right of course what's important here is that you only do one digit per square if you start trying to do two digits in a square and then you're going to get confused when you try and move things because each square is its own um place value so if you've got two digits in a single square, you've got two digits in a single place value, and that's just going to lead to confusion. So make sure every digit is in its own square, and you just move all the digits one square to the right. Final answer, 828.4.